everybody, I'm Joey Paul and I'm an indie author and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over what I've been up to over the past month. As usual, we've split it into three categories, work, health and miscellaneous. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'll be announcing my giveaway winners. So starting with work. I managed 20 chapters, 82 pages and 46,989 words in March. Which, you know, is really good. In the panic of the pandemic, I still managed to write. I also finished the proofreading process and Lights On has gone off to ARC readers. I still have some spaces for ARC readers, so if you're interested, the form is listed below. I finished my final revisions for Crime and Chronicles and it is now with the developmental editor. I'm looking forward to seeing what Kim thinks of it simply because I really love this story and the changes I made along the way. The beaters all loved it, so I'm hoping it won't be as stressful as Lights On was editing wise. I mean, editing is always stressful for me, but this could change. Writing wise, I am in the last month of writing for both projects. I'm pretty solid on how the rest of This Is How It Ends will go, and I'm super excited and looking forward to tying all the links together. With I Wish I Could Save You, I know it's going to lead into the second book or what may be a series, or maybe just a duet or a geology. I have the final bits and pieces to get done with the chapters and then I can jump into planning the next two projects. I do plan to write 24 chapters in May simply because it'll mean that as long as I keep up with my 20 chapters following that, I'll once again end at the end of the month rather than the middle. So that's my plan. Talking of, I have this amazing idea for my next project. I have no title, which is weird for me. I also have no character names, which is also weird for me. But I do have a plot and I do know it's going to be a series. And after thinking about it for a while, because this will be somewhat contemporary, even though there will be some world building involved as it's a paranormal mystery, I do plan to set it right now. As in, in the middle of the pandemic. This was something I went back and forth on because I know no matter what the world has changed here. I write young adult, I generally write some contemporaries and the two projects I'll finish next month are both those as well. But both are set around November, December of 2019 so I don't need to mention it then. And the sequel for I Wish I Could Save You will be happening around December, January so it might get mentioned in that if I extend the series. It was Laura's Wright whose video I will link above and below but she had good points that the world and writing is going to change having lived through this pandemic. So yeah, that's my plan going forward. I'll give you updates about the new series and such as I have the details and I'll do another my current work in progress video as soon as I can. And in health, I had me on the 6th and it went about as well as expected. There is now a lockdown in the UK because I'm considered extremely vulnerable to the virus. I'm on complete quarantine. I'm allowed to open a window but not venture outside. Because of this, I've been struggling mentally. My usual life is not going out much, but having the option taken away is hard to cope with. I've been keeping a close eye on my health, but as of yet, bar a few fevers and a cough, I don't think I've been exposed. I am allowed to go out for hospital stuff like Nepo and Port Flush, but otherwise I'm pretty much stuck inside. Mentally it's been hard, as I said, but I've found reaching out, being connected with people, and knowing that it's okay to ask for help. It looks looking like my finger tumour won't be taken out for a while. When I saw the surgeon again, he said that it wouldn't be urgent because it's not cancer, and would, but wouldn't be routine as the tumour can cause nerve issues, but of course, until the pandemic is over, no non-urgent surgeries will be happening. He did say it'd just be a day case, so that I'll let you know when I get more news, but understandably, that might be a while. And in the miscellaneous section, we got the car repaired, which is a huge weight off my shoulders, ready for it to go for its yearly service for the MOT. School is done for the year, until the pandemic is done, so we have Misty home and going to school online. I am loving my planner, I have added more colour to the monthly spread and daily pages. It's been an exciting time because for a long time I didn't think I could use a planner because of my inability to hold a pen for too long, so now I have my eye on some of the same kind for next year. Overall, it's been stressful and I highly doubt that I'll be getting my hair did for a while, so that sucks, but I get it, I'm just trying to get through it. 
And on to my giveaway winners. I have uh, four winners for my 400 subscribers giveaway. So there were four prizes, a signed paperback, a VIP swag pack, a $10, 10 pound Amazon gift card, and an ebook of choice. So for the winners I have, for the signed paperback, the winner is Cindy from Writing and Book Things and Movies. For the VIP swag pack, it is Kat Bowser. For the $10 Amazon gift card, it is DR Ranger. Um, and for the ebook, it is Tay Buggy. I will be contacting all of you by replying to your comments. But if you haven't had any contact from me or you haven't noticed, then please feel free to contact me on any of my social media by sending me a DM to claim your prize. So yeah, thank you for taking part, thank you for all the comments, and thank you for just being a part of this and being part of my YouTube experience. I really do appreciate it. So there we go, that's all of it up to in April. No, March. We haven't yet done April. March has felt so long, you guys. And that's all I've achieved and that's all I've managed. So yeah, how are you doing? How are things going in your neck of the woods? How is the pandemic affecting you if you want to talk about it? And if you don't want to talk about it, which is completely okay, then just tell me how you're doing writing wise. So let me know all of that in the comments down below. So that's all I've got time for today. If you want to support my channel, you can comment, subscribe, or like. I post new videos on Thursdays. You can find me all over social media and my books are available everywhere. And don't forget to pre-order Lights On and, or pick up a copy of Lights Out. And if you do pre-order, don't forget to grab the swag. All the links to which are listed below. Thanks for watching and remember to keep writing. Bye.